watching Jack Drones. Hi, Jack here. Today I'm doing my first flight test um, with the uh, Phantom 4. It's a nice, really sunny day. Not many people that park pick sort of during the week because not hardly any kids around all at school then and there's a few dog walkers that's about it really so I've got more or less got the field to myself so a good opportunity to get out show the front and four off and uh, see what it's all about and we'll do some testing with active track and things like that so I'm hoping my Osmo is going to work with auto frame because I've got auto frame loaded on my iPad for the Phantom 4 and I've also got auto frame loaded on my, ta uh, my phone for the Osmo so if I can get them linked up using um, the airframe network then basic means the Osmo will actually track my flight. So when as I'm flying the Phantom 4 up in the air, the Osmo will just keep it in focus and hopefully I'll be able to track it. Now I should then be able to um, com commentary on this video because I've got my Rode Mic Pro set up, so I'll get that pointing towards me. So I'll stand behind the Osmo itself so the Osmo can do all the tracking. So hopefully we've got a good 4G signal here because the, the tracking only works if you're over, over the 4G network, over the data network. So make sure you've got your data on your iPad and you make sure you've got data on your own phone because it requires the GPS on both devices and it requires the data to be able to link, link together to be able to auto track. And we'll see how sensitive it is, whether it works. If it doesn't work, then obviously I'm just going to do first flight anyway. So let's let's get on with first flight before we get interrupted with by other people because um, been a Phantom 4 or any of the Phantoms, I always seem to, especially out in the field flying, I always get people come up and say, oh, tell me about it, and I end up um, not flying properly. So let's, let's get it going. Right now, I found the um, auto frames, it works, but it's not actually seen, the Phantom does, the camera does, camera feature doesn't work on it, so there must be a bug in it. So we're going to try and do it without auto frame anyway, and try and keep the Osmo in track of what I'm doing. So it's all calibrated, so let's attempt our first flight. Sit. Nice day. Take off. Oh. Try and keep him framing a little bit, go up a bit higher. Right, I'm just going to adjust the camera settings so we can see and focus. Oh, that's better. So that, there's um, no, it's hovering, hovering, and it's quite windy. The wind's blowing towards me, and you can see it's holding its um, GPS position really nicely. And it's not making any any difference at all. Slight sort of swear. We've got um, 14, 15 satellites, so not too bad. Um, so this is in just normal normal mode, so it's not in sports mode. So if I just move backwards and forwards, you can see it's quite sluggish, designed this way, so that you can actually do, um, take it away a bit so we don't get so noisy. It's not designed that way, so that this is good for aerial photography. So every, bit, every stick motion you do, movement on your stick, makes it very sluggish control. So it's not super fast forward or backwards. So if I do full throttle to the right, you can see it's slow, full foot left, slow again. Now, if I turn on the sports mode, on sports mode now, holds position, ah, much more aggressive. Right out of frame then. There you go, that's really aggressive. I'm gonna go forward a bit. You can see how it really, really dips down to get speed going. And it's really, really fast. So we've got that in frame. Yeah, you can see how really quick sports mode makes it. <laughs> really aggressive. I'm not even actually putting the sticks right across. I'm literally just slowly tapping the sticks. And it really, really, really picks up. So let's get some video going on the um, Phantom itself. We're just recording on the Osmo at the moment. And uh, I'm going to put it back to normal, normal mode on this one. So we just got it back into its sluggish mode, and we're just going to give it a quick fly around. And hopefully, like I say, it's about this high. I have to move the Osmo a little bit, and we just get it flying on the pot quickly. So if you can be able to see it. So 
I get a nice smooth end. It's not very high at the moment, just down the park bit, getting around these gold posts and stuff. It's quite far away. It looks like it goes down or dipping down. I don't know whether that's um, it's doing something. I don't know. There we go. Nice circle around the park. It's gone off camera at the moment. We'll bring it back on. Handles really, really well. There we go. Bring it down a bit. And get back into frame. Can't see on the Osmo. Come down, bring it back a bit. Oh yeah, go on frame. So it's um controls are really nice. It's just like feels different, definitely feels different to Final Phantom 3. And uh, feels very much like my inspire, but this this so solid. Just really nice. Definitely worth buying a Phantom 4. Really is that worth buying for, for, for itself. Um, this feels so much different to a Phantom 2, even a Phantom 3. Even the, the actual body and the shape and everything, it's really nice. And it's got a really nice pre presence in the air as well, real strong. You can see it just standing there, and got quite a bit of wind blowing backs and forwards, holding its pace. It's great, and the camera stability is great, the shot from the camera is good. So it's a nice video recording here, it's actually brilliant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little fly around. I'm going to try and do try and do some like POIs and uh, some sort of we'll play that with a bit of tracking a bit later. We'll probably do, go in depth with tracking, uh, where you can actually track a person walking around or somebody on a bike. We'll try and get one of my uh, kids out on a bike, and we're getting sort of like go around the park, like to follow. But we'll do those features a bit more in detail on another, on another video. But let's, let's get, while I'm here, um, I'm going to sit there and wander on all about this. I'm going to. Um, Shame that the Osmo can't track this because that would have been so so nice. I'll bring it down a bit. It's been so nice to actually see it being tracked. But uh, we'll work those glitches out in the uh, auto frame. We'll do another. We'll do a video on the auto frame how that all works. But really nice. So smooth though. The movements are so smooth. Really smooth. I like it. I'm glad I brought it. So if you're thinking of buying one of these, it's definitely worth the money. Right, before the bag goes too flat, I'm going to actually um, take it around the park, get some aerial shots. They've got um, a park um, shed thing here as well, so we're going to um, literally get a nice fly around there, do a POI, and see all those sort of things handle. Do a very quick brief one on this video. So let's let's get on with that. Phantom 4, do I like this? I definitely do, and it's definitely a beast to get. Um, beats the 2s, beats the 3s, and the shell, keep going on about the shell, the shell is, is definitely quality, much more thicker, sturdier. When you, can, when you put it, hold it in your hands there, you can feel how strong 
and sturdy the plastic is. And uh, these sensors are really sensitive as well, they work really well as well. Remember when you're in sports mode, these sensors do not work, so you can end up crashing if you end up flying too fast towards a tree or, or a rock or something like that, so be aware. But when you're in normal mode, um, then these sensors work pretty good and it's a great way of saving it. But I've got a feeling a lot of people that are using sports mode are actually going to um, crash a lot because this, this sensor is not going to help you out at all. So remember that as well. I do like the, um, the actual gimbal holder. Much more improvement on the last one. Uh, it stays on there, it doesn't come off. So when, when it's travelling around in here, it's not slipping off at all. It's sturdy and keeps it, keeps it safe in there. They should have done some similar design with the maybe the Phantom 2s and the Phantom 3s because it's a very simple design. You know, it's not rocket science, but yeah, it's a nice touch as well. Um, but this thing definitely motors in sports mode. So it's got power, it's got slugness for doing nice aerial photography, so you, you don't, because um, I know when you pan quite fast in 4K, you get that blur motion effect. Panning in this, because it slows everything down, you get a really nice um, panning effect as well. Definitely worth having, definitely worth spending. So if you've got a Phantom Standard, you have crashed it, or an old Phantom Vision 2, upgrade to this puppy really upgrade to this it's definitely worth going for and remember guys when you upgrade to this hit my affiliate links because this will help support my channel when you purchase one of these yourselves as well remember i've got a deal on if you do purchase one of these through my affiliate links you know i will give you some money back as well so once you've ordered it it's gone through and paid for send me the invoice number i can trace that on my affiliate link account match up with yours and then i can post out or send a paypal payment towards you and get a bit of money back as well from me that's my deal going at the moment it's going to go on for a couple of weeks and after that it go back to be normal so every everything every affiliate link you click on um will help me support my channel and keep me doing what i'm doing basically so thanks guys for watching so absolute pucker definitely worth having um i wish i bought this ages ago <laughs> so i might even sell my inspire and buy a few more of these keep them spare because this does everything the inspire will do and uh yeah, it's nice. I like it anyway. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Any comments, questions you've got on this, put them below. I'm going to do a video shortly on auto frame, how auto frame works with two iPhones, an iPhone and an iPad. And we'll try and get this the, the Osmo to work with maybe. We'll probably demo it with my Inspire because I know it works with my Inspire. So hopefully, when they do the update, it'll work with the Phantom 4s, which would be absolutely brilliant. You can record yourself flying instead of having somebody doing it for you. <laughs> so, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.